Hey YouTube, Shuko Shobi here with a review of the Pokepla number 13 and 14 Reshram and Zekrom set. Uh, really cool. Um, these are slightly modified versions of the Pokepla kit 13, which was Reshram, and 14, which was Zekrom. They were released individually, but this set includes uh, an orange butt for Reshram, as well as stickers, and a blue butt for Zekrom. Whereas the original releases had a white and black, respectively. They were a very consistent color scheme. Um, so these are uh, like Pokepla. They are like Gunplas. Uh, they're model kits released by uh, Bandai. So that's why they can get away with the, the Pla. Pokeplamo, yay! So we got <laughs> Reshiram here, Zekrom there. Pokemon, best of issue and stuff. Reshiram and Zekrom set. Um, we've got Reshiram and company down here. Zekrom with his little glowy butt. No, his butt doesn't glow, but oh well. Um, them here. Their little action features here. Showing off their little butt features. And then art on the side. Um, down here it does show the various other Pokeplaw releases. So, starting with number one, if I can get it up. Oh, there we go. So, Pokeplaw started around uh, Heart Gold, Soul Silver ish area. Um,. They released uh, Chikorita, Meganium, and Bayleaf set uh, with a Pikachu. Cyndaquil, Kalava, Typhlosion set with a Pikachu. Totodile, uh, Croconaw, and Froligator set with Pikachu. Uh, I sense a theme here. Uh, four is Lugia. Five is Ho-Oh. Six was a Piplup, Primplup, and Empoleon set with Pikachu. Uh, set seven was Chimchar, Monferno, and Fernape with Pikachu. And set 8 was Turtwig, Grovel, and Torterra with a Pikachu. Set 9, we've got Suicune. Set 10 was Raikou. Set 11 was Entei. Set 12 is uh, Zorua, Zoroark, and Celebi. 13, like I said, is Reshram. 14 is Zekrom. Um, 15 is Embor's Evolution line. Um, 15 is... I think uh, Daikenki's evolution line. And then 16 is um, is Sutarja's Snivy's evolution line. I forgot what his last form was called. But uh, anyway, I did manage to uh, get the the Zorark set from Amiami. They had it on back order. I, I picked that up and I tried to get the Lugia and Ho set. I don't know whether I will or not. But it's currently on order, so we'll see. Hopefully, yes, because these are actually really neat. So, uh, here's Rush Ram. I'll bring in Zekrom later. We'll focus on Rushy first. So, um, he comes with this little stand, even though he doesn't really need it, because he's got feet. So, um, he's about... They're... I'm going to use Kiwamis as scale again. Yeah, they're about the height of a Kiwami, so they're about four inches taller, so I just dropped the little guy. So they're about that tall. Here they are next to a Power Ranger Samurai figure. So they are indeed about four inches tall. Which is fine. Um, no real worries there. Uh, the joints are kind of loose down here at the leg, but that's okay. So here's Reshiram. Um, the butt is, I think, red plastic. No, orange plastic. With uh, red stickers. Um, the stickers apply very weird. It's like they forgot the fact that this was going on a cylinder and they don't fit that that well. But um, thankfully, it's covered up by a lot of this white, so you don't really see any of the folds and problems in the stickers. Um, back here is all orangey to simulate the whole torch fire generator thing. Uh, these are red stickers up here. They look very, very bad. Um, in fact, I was going to keep them off, but then... Um, I just decided I didn't want to seem incomplete. They aren't too bad. They just look kind of weird. But from far away, you can't really notice. Um, his head does move. And when his head moves, his wings move. So that's pretty cool. There is no neck articulation or anything. So he's kind of stuck in this head bobbing motion. But um, the whole moving gimmick is really neato. I approve of that. And it's just, it's all around. It's really detailed. Um, I mean, not all of the details are there, but uh, most of them are there. Um, there's lots of articulation in the legs down here. So that's always cool. So he can fly and do all of his rush ram shit on his big furry penis. So, awesome. 
He fits really nice on the stand if you put him the right way. If I remember how to put him the right way. Like so, he just kind of sits there like a seat and looks all cool flying. So, Restram is really cool. His eyes are stickers as well. So, there's a lot of stickers. It's not like the Kotobukiya kits where everything's pre-painted. There are a lot of stickers. So, if you don't like stickers, I would stay away from these sets. Um, but if you don't mind some stickers, then uh, they actually can look pretty good. You can always paint them yourself, too, if you're an artiste, which I am, but I'm not a painting artiste. Here is Zek Rom, if you can actually see him through the shadowy figures of my camera. There we go. Uh, here's Zekrom. He is very, very cool. Um, mostly a gray and black plastic. Um, some of the black are stickers. Like his kneecaps here are stickers. Um, I think there's some stickers on his back here. His wing areas are stickers. So there is some black stickers in here, but it's really hard to tell. They blend in very nice. Uh, he does have some arm articulation here. So there's a joint right there on his arm. So he can fold right here. He's does got little hands, they kind of have a little bit of finger articulation. And his action involves his arms moving back and forth, and then he opens up his mouth. So he's all like, Bah, I am Zekrom, I eat things, and I kill Pikachus, bah. So, uh, that's really neat. Um, with his mouth open, he actually looks very threatening, and that's pretty cool. I love his butt. He has a very nice little tail here. Uh, the electric generator looking thing. Um, the blue plastic really helps this. Um, it looks really neat. I wish it glowed, or glue, whatever the word is. But, um, it's a model kit, so you can't really expect things like that. But, um, yeah, that's about it for articulation. Uh, he doesn't have feet articulation, unlike Reshiram, but he does have arm articulation instead, so it's kind of a fair trade-off. So Zekrom can just chill out back here while I get this in frame. Alright, so um, this set as a whole, I would say is actually pretty cool. Um, I managed to get this set off of Amiyami for about 1,100 yen, which is about $13, $14 given the exchange rate. And considering you get the fun factor of building them, um, it, it's absolutely fantastic uh, price-wise. Um, each of those individually are about 550 each of them individually are about 555 yen or so. So you do save about a dollar or so by getting the uh, combined set. So um, I do recommend the combined set too just because they, they add a little bit of color and Zekrom just fell over. Zekrom has issues standing. And so it adds a little bit of color to it that I think is actually pretty cool. So I do recommend trying to get the set if you can um, compared to the individual releases. Uh, I will be getting the... Uh, Unova issue starters, uh, those three sets. I got those on pre-order. I am trying to backtrack and get some of the other Pokeplaws just because I really do like this line. I'm a model kit fan, even though I don't build Gundams or anything, just because I never really got too into Gundam after Wing ended. Um, but I, I love model kits. I love Pokemon, so this is an absolutely fantastic line. It's very easy to get. It's very cheap. And, uh, of course, cheap is good. So um, I do recommend these if you're a Pokemon fan. Um, Ami Ami, I think, still has... Um, Daikenki and, I'm just going to say Tsutarja's Evolution again, um, up for pre-order still, I believe. Uh, I know they have back order on all the other ones, but, um, if you want it, go ahead and try to get it. Amiami is usually fairly good with back orders on being able to get them. So, um, if, it, if you can still add it to your cart and buy it, go ahead and try it. Um, like I said, these are absolutely fantastic little, uh, Playmos. So, you can check out a... So you can check out my personal blog at shukashobi.wordpress.com as well as a written review of these and uh, the Epic Podcast on the Epic site of RidersRangersOnRambles.com bringing the latest token news in the craziest way possible. So take care and have a great one. Bye.